over-ear headphones, also called around-ear headphones, are one of the most popular types of headphones. While they can be a little bulky and don't breathe as well as in-ears or on-ears, most people tend to find them the most comfortable headphones for extended periods. They often have more features than many in-ear or earbud options and have longer batteries than their smaller and more portable counterparts. Whether you're looking for a stylish pair of headphones made with luxurious materials and loaded with the latest features, or something a bit more understated for practical portable use, we've got you covered with our picks of the best over-ear headphones we've tested. All are available to buy right now, with many models significantly discounted from their list price. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 7. Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 Wireless The Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 Wireless are the best headphones under $100 with an over-ear design that we've tested. These affordable wireless headphones have an adjustable ANC system that you can set to different modes to suit different situations. When set to transport mode, it does a fantastic job of blocking out bass range noise like the low rumble of bus and plane engines. They last for more than 44 hours of continuous use on a single charge and have a comfortable fit. Although they aren't extremely breathable, so they can make your ears feel warm during long listening sessions. Their default sound profile is V-shaped and packs a lot of extra thump and punch into audio, while instruments and lead vocals remain bright and clear. If you prefer a different sound, you can customize them with a graphic EQ and presets in their companion app. They also support multi-device pairing, which allows you to stay connected to your phone and computer at the same time. Number 6. Philips SHP9500 The best entry-level audiophile headphones that we've tested are the Philips SHP9500. If you're looking for headphones for music but don't want to spend the premium price for higher-end audiophile headphones, these are worth a try. They have an open back design which helps them create a wide and open-seeming passive soundstage to immerse you in your audio. Like other open-back headphones, their sound lacks a bit of thump and rumble, but there's a small bump in the high bass that adds warmth to your audio. They otherwise have a very neutral sound profile suitable for a variety of genres, with detailed, accurate instruments and bright, present sibilance. They're amazingly comfortable and have good breathability, so music lovers can listen for hours without experiencing much fatigue. They're also decently well-built and have a detachable audio cable, so you can replace it if it gets damaged. The metal headband also feels sturdy, but some parts of the build feel fragile, like the ear cups and padding. These headphones are best suited for use at home or in another quiet space since, by design, they leak a lot of audio and don't block out ambient noise. Number 5. Audio Technica ATHM 50 XBT2. Audio Technica knows how to make a mean headset with a killer value, and the Audio Technica ATHM 50 XBT is a solid example of that. This is a wireless version of the great ATHM 50X, and it simply expands on the capabilities of that headset. You'll still find powerful, 45mm neodymium drivers offering up a 15 to 28,000 Hz frequency response range for deep bass and crisp treble. The 38 ohm impedance will also let you drive them over a wired connection with just about any device you have handy. The wireless performance is also set to impress. Using Bluetooth 5.0, the headset is able to offer a 50-hour runtime. The headset also supports LDAC and AAC high-quality audio codecs. It also includes dual microphones to pick up your voice for calls, and there are simple on-ear controls for media playback in calling up Alexa, Google Assistant, or Siri. Audio Technica even includes a carrying pouch to keep them secure when you're on the go. Number 4. Hi-Fi Man Edition XS The best mid-range audiophile headphones we've tested are the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS. These open-back headphones aren't as well-built or as comfortable as the Sennheiser HD 800S, but if you don't want to spend quite as much on a pair of headphones, they offer a neutral sound profile and an immersive listening experience. They use planar magnetic instead of dynamic drivers, which gives them a bigger, bulkier frame, but also helps them reproduce bass more accurately. As a result, your audio has a bit more thump and punch. The rest of their sound profile is very well balanced and versatile, with clear and present vocals and lead instruments. They also create a natural and spacious seeming passive soundstage. They're well built and have a comfortable fit for long listening sessions, although the headband feels heavy compared to other headphones in the manufacturer's lineup. If you're sensitive to pressure on the top of your head, you may prefer the Hi-Fi Man Sundara 2020's ski band headband, which helps distribute their weight more evenly. 
However, their sound profile isn't as neutral, so they don't deliver as much thump and punch in the bass range. Number 3. Bose 700 Nobody does active noise cancelling quite as well as Bose. The replacement for another top quality set of active noise cancellation cans, the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 II. The Bose 700 adds a slick new design, useful capacitive touch controls and even better sound quality. What makes the ANC so great isn't just its effectiveness, but the amount of control Bose affords you over it. Through the phone app there are no fewer than 11 different levels to choose from, so you can leave a touch of ambient noise coming in if you want to listen for announcements or stay safe near traffic. Or you can turn it up to full and silence even the kinds of noises ANC can have trouble with, like speech. Number 2. Sony WH-1000XM5 Sony's new flagship headphones improve upon the already great XM4 with better active noise cancellation call quality, sound, comfort, and connectivity. Most of the changes aren't huge, though the first two are certainly noticeable, but it's more than enough for Sony to retain its long-held number one spot. The touch controls and battery life are also to be commended, as is the excellent Sony headphones control app, which lets you tweak the EQ to your preference. The slightly bland design counts against them, as does the $50 price increase. But the XM4 are still around if you want to spend less, and overall there's no question that these are the best wireless headphones you can buy. Number 1. Apple AirPods Max The Apple AirPods Max were the most hotly anticipated headphones for quite some time, having been the subject of rumor and speculation for two years. They have active noise cancellation, superb audio quality, and a design that sets them apart from most noise-canceling headphones on the market. While their exceptional audio performance and class-leading ANC impresses, they're let down by their eye-watering price, horrible carrying case, and their lack of support for high-res audio codecs. Despite their high price, the AirPods Max aren't exactly aimed at the audiophile crowd. If they were, they'd have a 3.5mm audio port. These headphones are squarely targeted at card-carrying members of the Apple ecosystem, and they're packed with nifty features for iOS users and come in an unmistakably Apple design. For Android users, the AirPods Max don't have the same features as on iOS. That means for Android, you're paying the Apple tax without getting any of the benefits. We can't justify the high price of these headphones if you won't be connecting them to Apple hardware. But, if you've already bought into the Apple ecosystem, you have a lot of money to burn, and you don't care too much about high-res audio, you won't find headphones that sound better or easier to use than the AirPods Max. How to choose the best over-ear headphones for you When shopping for headphones, you've already narrowed things down massively by deciding on a pair of over-ear cans specifically. But there can still be much variation in the design of individual pairs, so you should still look out for factors like the headband shape or the amount of ear cup padding to judge how comfortable they might be. Don't be afraid to pass on headphones you don't like the aesthetics of too. Sound quality is clearly important. Whether you'd prefer a balanced sound or once that favors a particular part of the frequency spectrum, electronic fans might prefer heavy bass for example. That said, several over-ear headphones have phone apps that let you tweak the EQ to your liking. Think about how much battery life you'll need as well. Over-ear headphones can deliver anywhere between about 20 and 60 hours of playback so you should never need to recharge too often though naturally longer is usually better. Keep in mind that active noise cancellation will reduce battery life when it's turned on, as it needs to permanently power the onboard microphones. So that wraps up our list of the best over-ear headphones. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos or questions you have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way into. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.